The European Commission warned on Thursday that the risk of a no-deal exit had increased this month, as Theresa May struggles to get her withdrawal agreement through Parliament, and Mr Le Drian, who is also in charge of European affairs, told the French newspaper West France, without an accord, we will need to immediately engage in a negotiation to extend until at least the end of this year the existing fisheries policy. Otherwise, it will be the law of the jungle. At sea, which is in nobody's interest, he said, we will support French fishermen. Every effort will be made in order to maintain the industry's economic equilibrium pending the necessary renegotiation of the policy. Brexit's effect on fisheries is particularly important too. France as around 20% of the total French catch comes from British waters, Mr Drian added a no-deal exit also meant British fishermen would no longer have access to community waters. British boats could be banned from EU water in No Deal Brexit. Image Getty, a British exit with No Deal would automatically bar British boats from fishing in EU waters and EU boats from fishing off Britain. Mr Drian said, the European Commission was asked to look into two points. Maintaining existing reciprocal access to fishing zones, and ensuring that the European Maritime and Fisheries Fund is able to respond to urgent challenges. The EU's executive proposed contingency plans for fishing in the event of a no deal at the end of January, saying EU fishermen barred from British waters could receive compensation. Theresa May is facing a race against time to strike. A deal with Brussels Image PA, the Commission said in a statement, this will help offset some of the impact of a sudden closure of UK waters to EU fishing vessels in a no-deal scenario. The other proposal would allow Britain access to EU fishing waters until the end of 2019, in return for Britain allowing EU fishermen into its waters. This proposal is limited to 2019, the Commission said, adding it would strive to agree the two proposals with the European Parliament and the European Council and put them in place before the March 29th Brexit deadline. French Foreign Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian has issued a warning to the UK. Image Getty, Brussels has stressed that its no-deal preparations must be unilateral, time-limited and only seek to reduce the most damaging disruptions that would be caused by the worst-case Brexit scenario. Gerard Remitty, President of France's National Committee for Fishermen warned last month that the prospect of a hard Brexit had sparked widespread panic among French fishermen. The consequences of a no-deal scenario are likely to be catastrophic if not devastating for the industry, on both the upstream and the downstream, he said in a letter addressed to the French government. The Commission's Vice President Franz Timmermans said on Thursday that the risk of the UK leaving the EU next month without a deal had increased in the last couple of weeks. Asked during a conference in Brussels if Britain would leave on the scheduled exit date, he said, the risk of leaving without a deal has increased, they might crash out even if they don't want to. Prime Minister Theresa May is trying to convince European leaders to make changes to the divorce deal before putting it to another vote in Parliament. If she fails, she will have to decide whether to delay Brexit or risk economic and trade chaos by leaving without a deal. The biggest sticking point is the so-called Irish backstop, an insurance policy.